Hey guys, it's Comfort Color Studios here. We are back at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom from the other side. That's because we were invited to come in early to do some on-ride filming on a few rides here at the park. So we'll see you guys when we get over there. at the front entrance as you guys saw we were able to do filming on joker superman medusa and batman huge thank you to the team here at six flags discovery kingdom for making that happen i absolutely love this park it is one of the best looking six flags parks and has a really great ride collection too we're gonna go ahead over to boomerang to see if it was able to open today we're not gonna spend all day here since we got a lot of what we wanted to get done here yesterday done we do want to check out their rapids ride as well before we leave and it looks like they have Daffy and Sylvester out up here too, which is really, really cool. And they do a rope drop system here at Discovery Kingdom as well. So they let everybody in prior to park opening, which is 11 o'clock. And then at 11 o'clock, the rope will drop and people will run. And it's actually 10.59 right now. So I kind of want to watch everyone just start going and see if they run at this park. I know if it was Great Adventure and we're here, people would be running. So let's see. There they go. Oh, they're running. They're running. It is a Saturday today, so crowds should probably be higher than they normally would be. So I've come to a discovery here at Seaport Suites. 
they have an ice cream float as a snack for the meal plan. I'm definitely gonna have to try that later if this is open. Oh yeah. That is awesome. Even though the park is open, it's pretty dead back here. This is more so the animal area of the park. And they just happen to have Sidewinder Safari and Boomerang back here. Here's their Rapids ride and that right there is the main reason I wanna ride it. That will absolutely soak you, that is for sure. Maintenance is currently working on the Boomerang, so there is hope that it could open. Although Sidewinder Safari, from what I understand, definitely will not be opening anytime soon. It just has a little bit of work that needs to be done to it. Like I said yesterday, the cars are not on the transfer track. We saw them backstage. So if you're coming to Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, know that Sidewinder Safari will not be open. This ride is really well set up too. Nice theming and the sign especially. I've seen pictures in the past. The sign is really, really nice for this ride. Look at that. Over here, we have a really nice look out of the raft ride. It looks pretty long too. I see tons of waterfalls everywhere. Very excited to get on this a little later on. Rapids everywhere too. This might just be the most scenic Six Flags Park I've been to. There's so much nice stuff here. It is really well presented, trees everywhere. And Great Adventure, of course, has a lot of really scenic areas as does Fiesta, Texas. But this whole park just looks really, really nice. Very underrated in my opinion. I never really heard too much about Discovery Kingdom, but getting to explore, especially this back area of the park, it feels like Bush Gardens. It is so nice. There are the giraffes they have here. They have tons of animals here at Discovery Kingdom beyond just the marine aspect of the park. They have giraffes here, they have lions, they have tigers, so many different animals. You can feed the giraffes too with uh, $10 for bundles. So I assume you go in here, the giraffes walk over here and you get to feed them, which is really cool. There are the lions. Right I think we just woke them up. Sorry. Oh, that one's really good. <laughs> oh, that one's mad. Sorry. Someone's sleepy. This is my dog. Like... Over here we have their cheetah area. There's one right there. There's one wandering around in the back over there. There's another one trying to escape. I see another one chilling back there. And there's probably another one roaming around somewhere. Now it's time for a whitewater safari, which is that awesome rapids ride we were able to see. Very excited to check it out. That's what I like to see. No line for us to get on this ride. Awesome. So we just got off of Discovery Kingdom's rapids. We got drenched. Dad got the least wet, but he still got, pretty, still got wet. pretty wet. Tom got hit I, by that waterfall, I so he knew, is soaked. As soon as we got like five feet away, I knew I was gonna go under the waterfall and you just gotta accept it at that point. Yeah. A lot of the rapids wound up hitting me, so I'm pretty wet too. That's definitely one of the better rapids rides though. It'd be really cool to see other rapids like Great Adventures implement the waterfall like this one has. And the rapids in general on this were really strong and actually got you soaked, so. Definitely check this out if you're at Discovery Kingdom. Don't miss it. Another rare character out here at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom is Pepe Le Pew. I haven't seen him in years at the Six Flags Park, if ever. Good thing we rode Joker when we did, because no thanks. Same with Superman. Wolf's full queue. I mean, granted, it is a Saturday, so it is good to see at the park. It is relatively crowded. We're going to go see what the line looks like for Wonder Woman. Just got off of Wonder Woman, and this is, I believe, the first smaller of the Zamperla discoveries that I've ridden. You definitely feel the smaller height. It spins a lot more than the bigger ones, and it definitely has a bit more force in the valleys, and it doesn't have that grandiose feel like the other ones do, but you do get, I feel, stronger pull on the higher ascents. Tom, what'd you think? This is the second smaller one I've ridden. I've also done Harley Quinn at Six Flags America, and similar ride. This one felt a little more bumpier than the one in America, but even still, the smaller ones are a nice change of pace. 
So they are working to get Boomerang open today, but we really don't feel like sticking around all day, so we're just gonna have to leave that credit on the table, unfortunately. It's not like we're never gonna come back here, so we'll get on it eventually, but we are gonna start making our way out of the park. It wound up working out really good coming in last night. We got there around 3.30, so we were able to get every credit, and then today was like nice to get what we wanted to do, you know, in terms of flat rides and stuff, and checking out the animals. So, very, very nice park overall. It gets a bit of a bad rap, which I really don't get because it's a really, really nice park. Definitely do not miss out on this park if you're coming to California. How is it? Delicious. This may be the best Six Flags snack I have ever seen. It's huge, absolutely huge. If our friends at Great Adventure are watching, to definitely introduce an ice cream float because this is awesome. So that is going to conclude our time here at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. Very surprising park in a good way. I w went in with, you know, not really any expectations and I came out very surprised, pleasantly. Really, really nice park. And again, thank you to the team for allowing us to shoot some POVs early today. Definitely check out this park if you're in NoCal. It's a really, really great park. Bob, how was your revisit to Discovery Kingdom? They redeemed themselves. It's amazing here now. It's yeah. Awesome. Tom, this was a great experience here. Huge shout out to the ride and PR teams for helping us film on ride today. The park itself is beautiful and a really solid line of a ride. I really like this park a lot. When you come out here and you definitely got to come out here, make sure you go to the back of the park and visit all the animals they have here. I had no idea that all these animals here. Absolutely. Great. So we are going to continue trekking down the coast of California on our trip. Before I leave though, I do want to check out the gaming house here and see how different it is compared to that of Great Adventure. So, it's basically the same actually. PCs and Xboxes. In 800 feet, turn right. Hey guys, it's Conf Colorado Studios here, and we are now at California's Great America. We'll see you guys a little further up. We've made it inside of California's Great America. This is a really nice entrance. Really, really picturesque. Got Gold Striker off to the right here. Two other rides off to the left. I really don't know where we're going first. It's a Saturday, so it's probably packed. But we were at Discovery Kingdom just a few hours ago, so two parks in one day. We're gonna make Gold Strike the first ride, but it's got a pretty lengthy line, so we're gonna hold off until a little later. Yeah. <laughs> Looking like we might make our first ride of the day here at CGA. Railblazer, the RMC Raptor. There it goes. Scratch that. We're gonna divert to Demon. We just got off of Demon in the back two rows. It was pretty good, actually. It feels like you're a pretty standard aero looper, but they added some really cool theming effects, especially before the lift hill and in the middle of the ride. It was really, really good. Dad? Oh, it was good. I like these old aero loopers. Tom? So many tunnels. Uh, my shin took a pretty nice hit on that one corkscrew, but it was a pretty fun ride anyway. Fun ride for a nice old aero looper. I don't know where we're going next. Like I said, park's pretty crowded. That only took like five, 10 minutes, which wasn't bad. Railblazer though, that might be tomorrow's issue because it has a pretty long line. So I'm gonna go check on Grizzly or whatever else is back there. This is the NorCal County Fair or whatever the area is called. This is what they're redoing or redid for this season, which is pretty interesting considering the company announced they plan on closing this park eventually. 
So it is still cool to see new additions. It doesn't look like everything's open quite yet, but it's still really nice to see this new addition. I can definitely tell there's some work done to this area and there goes Grizzly, which is likely gonna be our next coaster of the day. To our right is a new addition that will be coming at some point this summer and there's their drop tower it looks like they rethemed the sign and whatnot to fit in with this new area theme which is really nice the app has this ride listed at 45 minutes so we're gonna pass for now given that this is my first time at the park i don't know how much of this was redone for the new area or not but the theming for this ride looks pretty nice up ahead we have psycho mouse which Correct me if I'm wrong, he's one of the only arrow wild mice out there, so. The Psycho Mouse with a giant line, which we're not waiting in. We'll do that tomorrow. Just got food over there at Sierra Creek Lodge. Now we're gonna head over to the other part of the park, or I guess the loop of the park. Here's Lucy's Krabby Cabbies, which as far as I know, adults are not allowed to ride, unfortunately. Kind of similar to the Great Pumpkin Coasters at both Kings Parks, so. A little unfortunate there, but. We're gonna try to get on some other coasters. Me and Mark are by ourselves in the theater. We're gonna try to see if Patriot doesn't have a brutal line. I guess we'll find out. Thankfully, it's just a stairway. We just got off of Patriot in the back row, and I give Patriot the award of the world's slowest operations. I don't even know how long it took. I don't well, want to think knows. about it. I was he timed the it. Dispatches for the three I timed, they ranged between two minutes and forty seconds, all the way up to three minutes fifteen seconds. And that's from when we were sitting on the brake run after yes. the ride. So, so that doesn't even factor the time that it took, like when the air gates opened. So call it three and a half. Yeah. What should have been a five-minute wait was more like a twenty, maybe uh, 15. fifteen. So. Yeah, that was interesting, but the ride was pretty decent. What'd you guys think? It was pretty cool. It was a little short, but it was cool. The ride itself was fine. You could tell it was a stand-up before. And Bob got to watch us sit on the brake run I mean, for I, minutes. I was able to play like an entire single table, like no whole, Texas Holden tournament while I was waiting for you guys. So uh, <laughs> it took a while. Yeah. Um, I think now we might go try that single rider line thing on Railblazer that I was told about. So let's see if it works. I don't ride water right Blazer and thank God for the single rider trick. That was really, really good. That was much better than I remember Wonder Woman being, although it's been a few years since I've rode Wonder Woman, so yeah, really, really good. You said I saw me on there. Dad, how was it? Oh, you know, it was good. Of course. Tom, that was your first time on a prototype. How was it? I honestly might have to take that over Jersey Devil, but I'll give it a few more re-rides before I give a final answer on that. Yeah, that was really, really good. Like I said, I mean, I have ridden Wonder Woman, the original Raptor that's a mirror image of this, so I kind of knew what to expect, but still, having not ridden one in a few years and having Jersey Devil to ride, this is definitely more intense, that's for sure. 
really, really good ride. And like I said, I'm very happy that we were able to do the single rider thing and get right on. another ride on Railblazer. Thank you to Front Row Coasters for the tip with the single rider line. Definitely helps a lot on a day like today. For those of you that don't know, Stinger, that used to be at Dorney Park, used to be right here. This was its original location. Then it got moved to Dorney and then it got sent to the scrapyard. I'm gonna give Grizzly another shot. Hopefully the line died down a little bit. Well, the line completely disappeared, no so lines. that's nice. So we just got off of Grizzly in the back two rows, and unlike King's Dominion's Grizzly, this is different in basically every way other than the layout. Layout feels like a mirror image, but way more drawn out, and it is very smooth, unlike that of King's Dominion's prior to the retracking, but it does nothing. There's some laterals in one of the turns, there's some airtime on one of the drops, but otherwise, it was a really tame ride. Tom, what'd you think? Yeah, that might be one of the most mild and inoffensive rides I've ever been on, but it was cool for what it was, and the best Shout out to Chris, the ride op. The ride op. He is really having fun with his He's job, and so I appreciate fun. that. Kudos to him, he made it a great experience. What'd you guys think? Oh, it was okay. Monorail. Monorail? <laughs> yeah, it's not, not far off. I'm not sure we're going to head next, but we got very lucky with this wait time, so hopefully we can get lucky with other wait times. We're going to give Flight Deck another shot and see if the line died down. I'm feeling it might have, judging off of our luck with Grizzly. evening here at California's Great America. We will be back here tomorrow, which is why we're leaving some credits on the table for now. We'll hit Gold Striker, Psycho Mouse, and the Kitty credits tomorrow. It's just a little too crowded to really go crazy. We had a good time getting to check out the park early. Railblazer was fantastic. Flight Deck was cool. Patriot was cool. A lot of cool rides here. Really, really nice Cedar Fair Park. But yeah, overall, really, really awesome day. Bob, how was California's Great America? I mean, I love this park. It's beautiful. It's sad that it's probably going away. Um, it's, yeah, it's it's one of the best Cedar Fair parks. Dad? Great park. Absolutely beautiful inside. Had a great day today. Come back tomorrow for a little bit. See what else we get on. Tom? Yeah. Uh, I love my experience so far. It was one of the cleaner parks I've been to. Really fun, and I can't wait to pick up the extra credits. With all that being said, that is going to conclude today's vlog from California's Great America. We'll be back here tomorrow, like we said. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, guys.